Hey, what's up everyone? It's Vincenzo here, bringing y'all another Legends video. And today, I have a daily challenge to summon 10 dragons and also win, I think, 5 games with Tribunal. So I actually, I made 2 decks, because uh, I don't want to play dragons, but uh, something else. So I made 2 decks, this is the first one. Uh, kind of a controlly dragons list um, just kind of threw it together with some of my favorite stuff and I also kind of just threw in stuff like uh, Altmer Dragon Knight Dragonfire Wizard uh, and the Black Dragon just because they also have um, names with a uh, dragon in it uh, like Mirak the Dragonborn Nakreen the Dragon Priest so very uh, dragon heavy influence here and then second one I made a singleton now I made a singleton <laughs> oh wait, I have to replace this card um, let me just double check it and throw in any uh, multiples of anything um I don't think I did, but what to add? Uh, we'll throw in Thorana. Why not? Um, oh wait. Yeah, so, Singleton List, uh, kind of inspired by, um, Aros's where uh, Mushroom Tower is like the biggest uh, component of it. Uh, it doesn't have as many ways to for sure uh, draw a siege. But uh, I think this is going to be like a more tanky kind of uh, defensive version of that. His is uh, his always ends up winning games like really quickly. And uh, I'm going to do the typical tribunal thing of uh, slowing people down and being really annoying. Uh, so, we'll probably go with the Dragons one first and see how that goes, so I'll catch off with those games. Alright, we got game one, and they're playing pure strength, so, um, we'll see how much we can, uh, control this game here. And, uh, I do actually feel pretty good about this hand. And they're also playing a hundred card deck, so um interesting. Alright, well we're gonna open up with this. And hope that they don't have an item to immediately get that. I mean if they do we have sorcerer's negation to just uh kill it, but either way we have an option. I'll take the bad guy. The forest will not suffer your presence. Worthless <laughs> Alright, so I don't care too much if they hit me and break one rune. Uh, not really. So I'm just gonna, the law on my watch. just gonna do this, because either way they'll have to trade into it. To oblivion. Oh. Oh. Die, scum! 
Alright, cannot wait to see what they've uh, rallied up twice. I just know that those uh, both fell on the same card. And this one, this one attack probably is too, knowing my luck. And he is kind of just going for it, so I'll give him that, but I think in the next turn we'll be able to make a comeback here. Alright, well, um... <laughs> kind of have to address that so yeah that just kind of has to happen and so does this Kill that. So for seven, I can uh, drain for some more health. That would leave me with uh, three magicka to work with. So I could throw up a guard. The I think I'm just going to do that and see how it goes. A. Behold the tribunal's power. They're down to one card, so I think we're about to take control of the board. Uh, next turn, we use the last ring charge to probably javelin this or whatever else they throw down. But then uh, I'll throw it down. Yeah, okay, so we're gonna jab that. By the light of the three. Yeah, this guy now. All right. <laughs> Yep, GG, dude. Alright, we're playing against a, another tribunal. I'm sure it's totally not going to be um, <laughs> insane control. But usually, uh, <laughs> I don't know what it is. Maybe Lock it's, uh, to your house. 
Right. Well met, Marsh friend. Uh, maybe it's a uh, confirmation bias, but I always feel like the people who use this face always play the most annoying, greedy control decks. And to me, this guy just has the I most like the punchable face games. out of like all the avatars. Probably sounds a little mean, but um, this is going to be messy. I don't care. Y'all can fight me. to spill some blood dear brothers all right well we're just going to devour that nicely done thank you i serve the night mother's wishes i strike like the morag tongue okay i think Swiftly i know what kind of deck this is <laughs> Especially with the uh, cruel fire bloom, I can only I can only take a wild guess. At it's my business to keep track of strangers. Yeah, you were hoping for something good. That's <laughs> that's the problem when you run these RNG cards. You can't rely on them at all. Don't have a hollow death priest for the next uh, four turns, uh, three turns. <laughs> Please don't have one. I might even just play Parthenax and then play the two call dragons like right after that. I'll let nothing get by. Believers shall flock to our noble cause. Believers shall flock to our noble cause. All right. Well, we're totally killing that. A grievous error. Yeah, we're just gonna capitalize this on that. This is going to be messy. Believers shall flock to our noble cause. I'll see you dead. Bend your lock. Greetings. Uh, we might have actually just won there without having to play Call Dragon. That's interesting because you never see that card uh, ran at all.
Nothing like a good battle. I will say this much, we're getting very annoyed by this guy. Believers shall flock to our noble cause. I serve the Night Mother's Lord. This was a worthy contest. By the egg, a fine person. Thank you. All right. Kind of an easy win there. And uh, for this one, we're gonna we're switching to the uh, tribunal deck since I only have one more win and I've gotten all my dragons, so we don't need to worry about uh, that. Just need to win one more game with this set colors, and uh, hopefully we can figure out something kind of cool to do with this deck. That's like the one that I didn't want, surprisingly. The war claws earn their pay. Careful there, friend. Solid pops. The red orin demand your death. Me, you Ooh, that's a that's a really good steal. Uh, I don't know what I want to really duplicate with that though. A lot of these are pretty high I value creatures. So maybe I'll just do Manticora, since that's like the highest value. And then uh, if I'm pretty sure I have my own Galen in this deck, so I'd probably do Queen's Captain if uh, she has played by then. Could get this up to seven. Repel the outlanders. is having a good blood will spill. Uh, I am. <laughs> it's kind of funny that I built this to be a control deck because I'm kind of blowing this guy out of the water. Okay, man, any day now. Uh, 
Uh, I might do another one after this one. Because, uh... Okay. Khajiit is having a good night. I will have your head. Having a good night. Speak, citizen. This is a pretty straightforward game, I think. Uh, haven't had to worry about really anything the whole time. Khajiit is having a good Face night. Me, you dog. That was uh, very quick. Okay. <laughs> um, I think I'm gonna jokingly keep uh, a siege in my opening hand. Because, uh, why not? Uh, this gives me much less of a chance of um, drawing a uh, mushroom tower uh, before I get this down. Uh, but seeing Nahig weave is kind of rough. The good news is they're playing the class with absolutely no support removal. Oh, I see. They're playing market. Okay. Well, we're definitely not going to give them any cards or anything. Uh, gonna try and limit what they can do. I will cleanse the dark stain of necromancy from Tamriel. Alright, so we're gonna do Hannibal Traven, Mushroom Tower, Siege. That's the next three turns. I think we're gonna get a nasty combo off. Uh, 
Uh, this does not look like a very good market deck. I am gonna say that much. Give the king of worms my Should have been more. That's fine. Yeah. As long as they don't have a spoils of war. Don't target Hannibal Traven. All right, thank you. King of Worms, my God. Too slow. All right, I'm pretty sure they'll realize that they lost. Yep. <laughs> All right. Well, I hope you guys uh, enjoyed those, uh, especially those last two games. Those were uh, pretty fun. But uh, I'll catch y'all later.